Good evening, good evening, one and all. Good night, good afternoon. It's the effects of COVID-19 on the family, the blueprint. And today's discussion is choices. And in the house, we have Abby representing the UK and Verena, you know, a mother of three busy buddies. <laughs> yes. So... As people as choices. So when I come in, you can drop in the comment section. How has COVID nineteen affected your choices in life? So we're gonna start off with, you know, what does the word choice mean to us? So Verena, when you hear the word choice, what comes to mind? Um. So when I hear the word choice, um, I think about like I have an option. <laughs> You know, I have an option. I could choose, you know, you could either, you could do one thing or you could do the other, you know? So yeah. That's what I, I, I think, yeah. All right, um, Abby, what about you? Along the same line, you know, you have a group of options that you can, you know, choose from. Yeah. More than two, I should say. More than two. <laughs> More than two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so when you know choice, yes, it could be more than two. Sometimes it's just two, you know, possibilities, two options, mm -hmm. two fruits or two vegetables, just two that you can mm -hmm. pick. That you know, you have the option of you know deciding yeah. whether I want A or B, B. right? And Right now in COVID, I think some people right now, they feel like they only have, some people feel like they have no choice. I don't know. Verena, how are you feeling that you have no, like you didn't have any choice in certain matters? How, um, are, you, how, are, you, how are you feeling? Well, yeah, I had no choice but to stay home in the hot, 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 hot sun rather yeah. than go to the beach. <laughs> I had yeah. no choice because, I mean, if I go... I have a fine to pay her. I don't have anybody to pay that. So I have no choice but to stay home. Right. You know, in that regard. Yeah. But um, for other things that not relating to the law, yeah, you have a choice, you know. Sometimes it may feel as though you don't have a choice, but there are still options, you know. Yeah. 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 And, I, and um, what I think is, like, as families, right, um, we would have been caught off guard with the COVID-19 pandemic, that's one. Mm -hmm. Nobody wasn't thinking about the pandemic when 2019 started. Because it really started in, you know, as we know, 2019, going into mm -hmm. 2020, when everybody was definitely affected by the pandemic, by this virus. So it was unexpected. And, of course, I mean, people would feel like they have no choice as to, should we have a virus or should we not have a virus? That definitely, we had no choice in that matter, right? right. We didn't have a choice. Yeah, we couldn't choose whether we want a virus or not. Mm. But it is here. And, you know, now we have to deal with it. We have to cope with it and find ways to get around it and see how best it is. We can survive, how best it is we can enjoy life under the circumstances that we've been placed in, right? Mm -hmm. And... One thing, definitely, when it comes to um, jobs, I think that it had some. It didn't have a choice of whether it is you are essential or non-essential, because during the pandemic, we would have seen that during lockdowns, they allowed essential workers to be out, and the non-essentials, they had to stay home. There was no income for them. The income they would have gotten would, would have been support from the state. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you didn't have a choice in that matter. Now, some persons may have chosen, you know what, let me get another job. I mean, that would right. have been a, a possibility. So like how Abby mentioned last week, something that, you know, she would have liked to do is have you know, a little change in career. And mm -hmm. then COVID came. So that choice of, should I really try to venture into this career now or should I wait? Wait. So, yes, so COVID-19 had people, like, really thinking, what should I do now, especially if you had plans 
and then COVID came and then they have to choose, make a, you know, the right choice. You know, it have things that you know, we could either make a bad choice or mm-hmm. a good choice in certain matters. So we had to be, you know, really thoughtful about how it is and how it's going to affect us as an individual and, of course, our families, right? Our children, our spouse, you know, whoever is close to you. So that's the thing. We have to, like, really, what choice should I make? So, Abby, like, you thinking about wanting to change your career. What mm-hmm. made you choose not to change it within this time? Well, <clears throat> well, I mean, due to the lockdowns and due to the career choice, we need one-to-one interactions as placement, right. you know? After you're doing yeah. your theory, you have to do practical in order to, you know, venture into it further. So due to the lockdowns, there wasn't any face-to-face interaction with anyone. Right. So, so that's when that we, affected yeah. the choice. Mm-hmm. It, it's like, well, they didn't have a choice in that case because things locked down, right? And, I mean, like, Verena, what is something that you had to make a decision on, like, to really choose between A, B, or C, or even if it even had a C? Was there anything that you had to make a choice, you know, you had to A choose? lot of things, a lot of things. But one of the um the biggest ones was um not waiting or continuing the career that I had. So, you know, I, I could have chosen to, to sit and wait until the organization could have hired me, or I could choose to change careers and do something different. And, well, I made the choice to, to change careers, not to sit and wait, of course, because, I mean, I have to take care of my family. Um, I also had to make a lot of choices in the grocery, you know, and a lot of times the kids, you know, they want try chicken or KFC or they want Pizza Hut, you know, and I have to make the choice of not buying the KFC or the Pizza Hut and making it at home for them. So they get yeah. mommy's pizza and, and mommy's fried chicken or daddy's fried chicken and, you know, like yeah. that, you know. So we had to make those choices, um, making snacks instead of buying snacks, mm-hmm. you know. All those things no. came into play um, yeah. instead of buying um, these cards and stuff for them to do learn and so on. I had to make them, you know, instead of going and purchasing a pack of cards. I mean, it might look real nice and pretty, but <laughs> you know, the cost to, to um, go and purchase it would have been more than if I just make some out of Bristol board, you know. So right, right. Wow. There were a lot of choices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I mean, when it comes to the dollars and cents. I mean, people had to make choices in those matters because if it is you have your savings now that you're running on, there's Mm -hmm. no other income because we know that there would have been loss of jobs, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes not just one parent, but both parents. Then you have to make some tough decisions. And of course, as I mentioned, when you have children, you have to even think about them and what it is you need to do to make sure that they have a comfortable, safe life. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back and, you know, discuss what, you know, are some of the choices that, you know, we had to make that was definitely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Burn Tea TV is about merging online lives with basic and conventional raw nutrition services. Yes, people, it's sweaty Sunday, so let's get this workout in. You know, it's time to smile, sweat, and shine. Let's go. Giving it a TV effect. Why is she Yes. And that is one of the choices that we had to make in terms of our health mm-hmm. and fitness. And I think, you know, some persons um, during the pandemic, what some persons would have chosen to do is live healthier lives, right? 
I know sometimes we use the word health and fitness a bit loosely, but some people, you know, really try to get themselves in check because now everybody is talking about building your immune system because of the COVID-19 virus, right? So, I mean, that was a choice, whether it is a choice to continue living pretty wildly, doing what they want, drinking, eating anything at any time, and not considering that it can contribute to, you know, underlying health complications. You don't want to get diabetes, you don't want to be obese, you're not trying to um, have high cholesterol or anything like that. Because those things will definitely affect how it is you're able to fight off the virus. So that would have been definitely a choice to make. And as Perina was talking about food, I mean, talking about the dollars and cents, you know, you had to make, you had to cut back on some of the things that you would spend on, right? So instead of eating out all the time, now we say here what, we're going to have to make groceries, make markets, we're going to have to cut down on how much we are even eating. I mean, some persons did that. Some persons definitely did not. Because <laughs> some this pandemic, people gain weight. Wait. <laughs> people gain weight during the pandemic. That's not mm-hmm. normal. Right? So how is that possible during the pandemic? Like, how? And, you know, people saying, oh, God, we're suffering. I have no money. And yet, so they're seeing, you know, persons gaining weight during this pandemic. I do not know what it is. I don't know if it's because food items are more accessible or if it is the fact that, you know, persons were giving out, like, hampers and so forth. So you, had, you really had access to food. To food, yeah. You really had nothing past times where the food wasn't in the amount that it would have been now, right? And it didn't have hampers back then. No, persons are doing hampers. People lining, you know, basically a lot of companies, the governments, they were giving out hampers. So it was easy to come by. Nobody starving and saying, go, they're going hungry and uh, really cutting back on the meals that they are having. Yeah. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, having the, you know, having to make a choice in terms of, you know, finances, even which bills are going to put as priority. Right. And when we're talking about bills now, we have to think about the children when it comes to the education aspect. So Verena mentioned, you know, making cards out of Bristol board, making the cards on her own rather than purchasing. And another choice that we couldn't, well, you had a choice either you allow your children to do the online schooling or you choose for them not to attend online school, right? I mean, that would have been a choice. So why sometimes we may say, you know, we had no choice in the matter. There are times when we, we actually do have a choice is either to do or not to do. To participate or not to participate. Yeah? So in exactly. terms of that, online learning is either you do it or you don't do it. You attend or you don't attend. Because the parents may be okay. They go out to work. They leave the children home. And is it up to the child now to log into class or not log into class? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or when they go on break or just don't come back to class after break? Mm-hmm. And, you know, based on experience, you know, it has so many challenges, especially when, you know, it's very, very challenging to focus online, sit down in front of a screen mm-hmm. and, you know, interact with teachers, with a classmates online it can be very challenging for some and for others of course they are having the best time of their lives because they don't have to physically interact with anybody in the same space (laughs) they are in their own space right yeah but that would have been a choice right and even persons would have had the choice whether it or not you know they want to teach online or hear what i'm just going to do another job but in this pandemic, I mean, some persons would have held on once they cut out, you know, held on to the job that they had at that point in time, rather than changing. Now, in Verena's case, you know, she had, as she said, she had the choice to either sit and wait or move on with life. Because, I mean, if she was sitting, she would have been sitting and waiting still. Mm-hmm. But she knows that she has to take care of her family. And here, what savings that's going down, 
Mm-hmm. So I need to get up and get. Mm-hmm. Right? So sometimes in life, you know, we have that choice to make. Are we going to sit? Are we going to con- complain? What are we doing? And complaining mm-hmm. definitely is not going to help. Exactly. And a lot of times, we, right now, you know, people complaining. And another major choice now is this vaccine. Right? Mm-hmm. We see that they want to mandate taking a vaccine. So right now, we are, it's not mandated. So you either choose to take it or you choose not to take it. And whatever choice you make, you're going to have to just accept whatever consequences come with it. Mm-hmm. You know? So you could choose to take it because, okay, say, okay, I'm going to trust that the doctors, they know what they are doing or you're not going to take it. And if I get COVID, well, whatever happens, happens. I mean, we all have our choices there. Some people may think that's only, that's not really a choice, right? And when they mandate it, here's what, it's still a choice, you know. You can still choose to take it or not to take it. So Verena mentioned the beaches, not have any choice of going to the beach. But you did have the choice of going to the beach. The only thing is, if you went to the beach and you got caught, you just have to pay the fine for breaking exactly. the law. You know? So it's mm-hmm. you still, <laughs> you still you have, a, still choice, have yeah. a choice in the matter. So you just have to have measure the wearing. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you just have to measure the consequences. So Abby, what other, you know, choice, you know, did you have to make during this pandemic? Oh, um, I have to choose either to risk it and, you know, use public transportation mm-hmm. or hire my own transport to get there safely to and from work, which right. make a big dent in my pocket. You know, trying to be like extra yeah. safe, I decided to um hire my own transportation. Right. Than to risk it on the public transportation, yeah. And how and um, did you feel like you made the right choice or did you think that you know what maybe I should have just taken any chance on the public transport? Um in the beginning because the the fear was there, you know. Yeah. I um I should have been a bit braver and walk with all my hand sanitizer and make sure that my mask is proper. I should have taken more precaution. It would have saved me more money. Yeah. You know? But due to mm-hmm. the fear, you know, you're scared that you're going to get COVID. You know, right. I just mm-hmm. happened to take that other option and came away. Yeah. To be safe. Yeah. That's what I yeah. did. Yeah. So, I mean, some of the choices that, you know, we would have made during the pandemic, we have, as Abby said, put a dent in your pocket. Or mm-hmm. you may have chosen, hey, what? I'm going to do things where I wouldn't put a dent in my pocket. I will save more during this time. And I will, you know, spend more wisely rather mm-hmm. than, you know, all freely. Like, you know, you have real money and it, you, you wouldn't run out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, one of the choices that <laughs> children is saying big one is that money is always a, it's always a big deal. You know, mm-hmm. money is, money is a big thing, right? Cause right now that's what people are complaining about money. Mm-hmm. We need to that's get enough. back out there to work, to make money. Or Cause things raise. That's enough. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, right now, price, food prices raise, but it's 50 cents, and all the 50 cents will add up, you know? Exactly, but I, I find um, it raised by dollar, so I... Yeah, it has some things that <laughs> raise by a dollar, some raised by a dollar, mm-hmm. some raised by two, some raised by five dollars, you know? Um, and I, I think everyone is affected differently depending on what it is you purchase when you go to the grocery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if it is your custom buying bread, how much bread is by fifty cents or a dollar? So like some person, you know, they are trying to boy they boycott and kiss right now because mm-hmm. kiss raise bread prices. What? Kiss raise their prices on cakes and everything that all mm-hmm. their product. Yeah. Right. So people right now is a boycott and kiss. Um. 
food. I didn't see eggs. I do not know if any other brand, you know, you know, raised the eggs, but eggs did not raise as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Right. So there are some items that did raise and some that did not. Right. Now we see that during the budget they say, you know, they're gonna have food items that's gonna be tax free that people, you know, will buy the basic flour, the right? Basic, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that yeah. there's not gonna be, but at some point I think that and it's a it's a tug of war. So you may raise prices on some items or you might say, Oh, it's not being taxed, but by when it blink, when they look at it, you but you receive you realize no this raise from and you see they could raise exactly. it so easily <laughs> on you yeah. and you will not even recognize yeah, I'm paying sixty dollars for the flower with tax. And well they say, Well, it has no tax, but you realize on your bill when you purchase is the same sixty dollars you pay for the bread, right? Yeah. The, I mean the flower, the same sixty dollars you pay for say so you want to know well what what's going on here? Well, we had to raise exactly. the prices on flour, you know, and then yeah. you're like, well, it didn't make a difference if the government and then not the, take off the tax or, or they leave it on, yeah. you know? Exactly. But, yeah. Exactly. So it, it's easy like that. But that's right? why we so need that's regulations. Why, yeah. So, I mean, a cho you know, it's a choice again. Mm. When we have to vote for whoever we want to, you know, govern the land, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had a choice to make last year because we had the general election. And, you yeah. know, we had to choose whether it is we even... We had three choices. But some persons may have had more than three choices depending on the... Um, constituency. Electoral, yeah, the constituency that they are in. Right? So some may have had, you know, three parties. Some may have had four parties that they could have chosen from. And some just chose not to vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will always choose to vote because that is my right. My right is to vote. And when mm -hmm. we talk about rights, you know, we need to know what our rights are to know what choices that we have. And that's a that's one of our rights to know what choices we have. What are our options? Mm -hmm. What are our possibilities? If it is we don't know, all we know is this we know only know F and G. I mean, and it has so all the other letters in the alphabet and all somebody is showing us is F and G, then what? How do we really, do we then people will say, you know, our choices have been limited, right? But I think that, and even our governments had to make some choices as well. So we just leave people, let them go out and who die, die? Who mm -hmm. get COVID, get COVID, or should we try to protect? That's see whether they will use our force to protect our citizens and see how best it is we can cope with the virus so that there would not be any community spread and that we can save lives. So that would have been there. They had a choice to make as well. Let people do and whatever they want. Choices. Right now, people are saying, so right now, some people are saying, just let people do what they want, vaccinated on that. Everybody just go out there, open up everything. Who live, live, who get COVID, get COVID. Abby, die, how do die. you feel about that? Do you think that that, is, that would have been, you know, the best choice? I mean, when it's come to health, you know, the health sector have a, a duty of care. You know, over here, they have to have a duty of care to every single person. So um, I don't think they would even thought to have that kind of reckless, you know, let everyone yes. do as they please, who get it, who die, whatever. They they can't they can't do that. So they yeah. have to put things in place when it when it comes to someone's health, that is their duty of care. They have to put things in place for that. Right. So why we may think some people may say, Oh gosh, the governments are so harsh towards us and they should just leave people and then if it is they had done that, then they will say, Well, the governments don't care, as they are still saying now. The governments mm -hmm. don't care. So that's the song that every a lot of citizens will sing. So whether they do or don't, you know, they say damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mm -hmm. Um it's still, you will have to, you know, make that choice. So we're gonna go to a short break and we will be back again. Top up with Burn Team anywhere and anytime for both Digicel and Be Mobile. Top up yourself. 
a family member or friend using online banking in the comfort of your home. Just click on our WhatsApp button and say the word. For more info, visit our Facebook page. Top up with Burn Team where it's safe, easy and convenient. Yes, so you all have the choice to top up with Burn Team as yes, of course, it's safe, easy and convenient. Definitely. So you all have that choice as well. Instead of going, so you can choose to line up in the grocery and those long lines or at the pharmacy to get your phone card or you could just simply send a text transfer the money get a phone card quick easy it doesn't even mm. take five minutes yeah so that's a choice as well do i want it the easy way or the hard way yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so all those who are joining on us we uh in the effects of covid19 on the family the blueprints and the topic is choices and we have verena and abby you know, this evening, and we are talking about the different choices that we had to make. And, you know, people in society, what are the choices we would have to make during this COVID-19 pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. And when it is we think about, you know, so many different things, I mean, some persons would have been really scared for many different reasons. One, just simply getting the virus. Two, what is going to happen when they are just at home with their families? especially if it is they have an abusive relative in the home. That will put a lot of pressure on person. Should I leave or should I stay? You know, what should I do? I mean, persons would have had that situation. Should I, should I um, rent or should I go see if I can stay by a family member? Should I consider just my peace of mind or should I, you know, stay in a situation where... I have to deal with violence. I have to live in fear. I'm walking on eggshells. So, I mean, it is very tough. Should I let my child do online classes or should I homeschool them, teach them on, you know, on my own or hire someone? Mm -hmm. should, should I, I break I... the law? <laughs> should I leave them home? Because, I mean, it even ha it had reached so far that even you know preschools had to close daycares had to close um so who am i should i hire someone and they can't stay in i mean well, some they had if it is a live in and some water for me please baby you know a uh, stay in care you know caretaker it would have been different yeah so yeah so you know it's would have been, should I break the law or should I not break the law? Should I, if I'm feeling very hot, should I just see if I could hide and go and take a dip in the sea? Or should I just say what, hold on? Because as I we mentioned earlier in the lives this morning, is that some areas they are having problems with water. They are not getting any water at all, right? So it's like, what choice do they have on your hand? Make sure that you, you know, you wash your hands, Right, everything is wash hand, wash hand, wash hand, wear a mask. If it is a go out in the grocery, you come back home, make sure you wash your clothes. You know, all these different things. So how can we do that if we have no water? Exactly. Yeah? I am um, I was can... faced with that this week. And water yeah. is an essential, so Yes, mm -hmm. it is, it is an essential. So I mean then people had a choice, should I protest after they already call, maybe call the authorities? make complaints so what should i do sit down home and just hope and wait or oh, hi chazan chazan so we hope to see you in the morning sweaty sunday yes <laughs> so then say send some water for him too <laughs> yeah. fire water for your children don't worry fire yeah. water so should i protest with my community even when it comes to the vaccine should I go out there with my placard or should I keep myself quiet? Should I be on Facebook and rant? What mm -hmm. choice did we make? You know, and we have to be so careful because as we know, choices have consequences. So we have to be so careful with the choices that we make. 
Precise. Yes, we really, really have to be careful with the choices that we make. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, as parents, you know, having to choose to hear what? I can't send my child by any and everyone. Mm-hmm. I need exactly. to keep them safe. Or I have to leave them home. I'll, you know, see if I get someone to look at them while I go to the grocery store. Because the other thing they were advising is that one person go to the grocery. But, mm-hmm. of course, persons choose that, hey, what? Two of us with every with all the babies will go to the grocery. Because I would have seen that, you know, parents come, everybody came. Yeah. The granny. The whole household. The whole household. Yes. Take a trip. No. Really. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they did. And yeah. and you know why I think that happened too? Because they actually had nowhere to go. So mm-hmm. the only place they really had to go is to the grocery or the mm-hmm. pharmacy or the market. So here what we'll take this as a trip because they have nowhere everybody, else to go. Yeah, right. Everybody gets in the car, let me go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or some person say they may hire a car that day and decide that everybody gonna or that everybody will just travel and go. This is mm-hmm. our only out time. Hmm. Huh. Only That's a bit out unnecessary, time. you know. Yeah, but my son, oh, yeah. at, it, it has been taking a toll on the kids. Because my son, every time he hears I'm going out to the grocery, he would get himself ready to come and go with me. You know, and he would be upset when I tell him, okay, well, you know, you can't go. And he said, because of COVID. And he'd be so disappointed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. he'd be very disappointed that I don't want to take him out to go into the grocery. Yeah. So but, then Verena know, has to make that choice. Should I take him to the grocery? Because he really... Needs to, he wants to go outside or should I leave him home? And then if she took him out and he got COVID, then she she will say, you know what? I had chosen to take him mm-hmm. out and now it's my, this is the consequence that I'm facing today. Mm-hmm. So what should I do? Let him fuss and blame COVID and be angry or should I take him out? He gets COVID and then he can't, his immune system can't handle it and then he unfortunately dies. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we have mm-hmm. that as a, like a tough decision. And so yeah, so sometimes we might think, you know, okay, for the mental and emotional health of the child, I'm going to do this, but then you yeah, put them at risk, and you don't want to put them at risk. Exactly. How much exactly. of a risk are you going to take? Like, like how much? Like right when, now, when, when the little kids catch COVID, you may not know. It's, I don't really have a way to tell because their body will fight it off. Once they're immune yeah. to them, they'll That's fight true. it off. Yeah. But during that time yeah. that they're body fighting it, they could be spreading it to someone else, you know? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And right now, we have the choice, as I mentioned, the main thing, the focus now is this vaccine, right? And mm-hmm. now, it is so serious in that the, the vaccinated students are going out to school in person and the unvaccinated at home doing online, right? So like mm-hmm. earlier on today, our prime minister had a press conference. And right now, because we are still in the pandemic, the option of being vaccinated and going out to school or remaining unvaccinated and doing online school is available is only because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But when the COVID-19 pandemic is over, that choice of whether you can do online or in person will no longer be available. It wouldn't be an option. So now mm-hmm. your only choice is to get vaccinated, get vaccinated and go to school or be unvaccinated and stay at home. And that would be based on the parents. The parents now have to make that choice. What's, mm-hmm. And that's going to affect a lot of, and not only the financials, but it's going to affect the well-being of the child Mm -hmm. and how the child Mm -hmm. performs and how it is they you know they're mental they're social they're missing out on that socialization how is that going to affect them right so even a child might think okay i have the choice i should be able to choose whether i take the vaccine or not and any parent to say no you have no choice because you're under my roof so whatever i say goes What about, you know, partners? One take the vaccine and the other choose not to. And it caused that discord. And there's bickering. Oh, one parent is okay with the child getting the vaccine. And one parent is just not okay saying, nah, you can't get my child. It's both of, it's both of them who create, have this child here. 
but it's mm-hmm. like my child my child it's when they start to make a decision <laughs> yes so that choice i mean how do you move from there how how hmm. you know do you really move from there i it think that's is, a big confusion it get the kids confused eh? yes it know. definitely will yeah. and then if it is they might say okay they more you know it's have some children they might be mommy's favorite or daddy's favorite or mm-hmm. the favorite mommy more <laughs> or daddy more and they want they want to be which side to pick mm-hmm. not have to choose who side they want to be on and that could cause a lot of confusion as abby said right okay. and of course they have some children okay. already make up their mind or they may be influenced by the parent that they like more so mm-hmm. they may be thinking, you know, maybe I could get a vaccine, but then, no, I shouldn't. What should I really do? Mm-hmm. Yeah? So we mm-hmm. affect how, you know, our children, mm-hmm. the choices that our children may make as well. Yeah? So I be saying that we have no, we affect the choices that they make. You know, we really influence them. We influence their choices. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. So I should say, oh, but I supposed to have a choice and it is my right. To... But no, then you say, no, I'm the parent. Mm-hmm. What I say goes. So Abby, are you one of those? I'm the parent. So whatever I say goes. It depends. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to me, it's a kind of a, what's the word? All right. They legalize 16 year old to make their own choice whether they, you know, for them to feel free to take the vaccine without a parent's consent parents. now. Right. So, of course, it, it, it raises a lot of debate and opens a lot of doors. You know, if you give a child that decision, then they could decide to go and smoke or drink or, you know, it opens a lot of doors that they don't want to answer. So, where mm-hmm. my daughter now is 16, mm-hmm. she have to she looking at me, and my and my mom, her grandmother is vaccinated, so she's like, you know, kind of weighing out the balance, where to go. She's a bit confused. I, I'm trying not to step in. I'm trying to give her that independent way, you know. But she hasn't been as yet. I hope not. But um, I'm giving <laughs> her that free will to decide. I'm not getting in there. Okay, but if yeah, I'm not getting involved, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I mean, but it is good that you are not getting involved, and you know, whatever choice she makes, you know, we hope that you respect whatever choice she makes, even if it goes against you know what you believe that you know she should do as a child, a young woman, right? Because she's a young woman, the next two years mm-hmm. she'll be an adult. And yep. I mean, even in terms of, you know, the young adults making choice, they have choices to make too, right? Whether it is they go to school in person or they have online classes. Do, should I do my assignment or not do the assignment? Should I break school or should I go to school? Should I break class or should I attend my classes? Those are the choices that they too have to make. So it's not, you know, we as adults alone, but the, Children do have choices on a day-to-day basis, mm-hmm. right? Um, but of course, as I said, we as parents will influence the choices that our children do me. So I'm choose here what? I have no time with you, mommy and daddy. I <laughs> need to do this for me, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes, so children saying he hope not. Love, he's laughing at you, Abby. So, Abby, if yeah. it is your daughter chooses to take the vaccine, what? How are you going to interact with her? Because I mean, our choices affect the relationships that we have as well, right? So, let's say yeah. she takes the vaccine. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel no how, I mean, she made her, her choice, but the only reason why I'm a bit iffy, especially coming to the young ones, is that they made the vaccine for adults, and due to their tampering with the dosage, how they know which dose is right for the kids, especially from the teenage go down, and right. 
you know it, it have rumors where two kids get full dose of adults um you know they're supposed mm. to give say they're supposed to give the kids half they end up giving two child full adult doses and they are in hospital now fighting for their lives hmm Right, so, so I mean that's human error. So what I mean in terms of yeah. us making choices, um, we have to hope that whoever the nurse or doctor is administering the vaccine, when it is you do go, that mm -hmm. there there isn't a human error there. And yeah, I think and the other thing too, yeah. and during this time, you have to choose to make sure that they take self care and not overburden because I know that. The nurses and doctors, they are burnt out. Yes, that's the next thing. There are nurses that mix up um, who give saline, who give that, who give, you know, it's all kind of mixed up. And I don't What's want to be, out? yeah, to, due and to overwork, there, I agree. Parents are there with their, with their children when they go through And hear yeah, what? I so will, you have I to will be aware. That, you have to educate Yes, we have the choice to mm -hmm. be aware of what is being given to us. No, what kids? Oh, so it's, you it's, are it's in school right? now. It's in school and they don't allow parents, parents. in school. I mean, oh. yeah. Oh so that's why they give them that choice to decide if they want it or not. Okay. Without so, but, our consent. No. Yeah. Well, so we if don't I would, have to I would there. tell my child if you know if you're making that decision, ensure that I am there with you. You know? You know, like okay, I support whatever decision you make, but you know, I want to be there if you if you decide to go for it. You know. But yeah. So that's what you know. You recognize it. Have with yeah. the people out there. So you know. You have to me, be on the alert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I mean, what I was say. So what I was say is that okay. So let's say Verena, how she mentioned. Okay, let's say daughter say okay. I'm going to take this vaccine. Mommy, you can be there to support me, and you go there and you ensure that. What it is they are giving is the correct thing in that when they take it out of the wherever Cuba. they have stuck it in, the, they yeah. Yeah, everything, it's in a cooler. you know, you Not know, bad, okay, yeah. this is labeled Pfizer because it's only Pfizer for the children. Mm -hmm. This is labeled Pfizer. You look at the needle and well, the tube that they're going to put it in. Everything is right. Well, right? I mean, if it. they accept people in then and she decided and probably but where they are stationed all the vaccine centers they are in school they have a lot of them on the school compound depending on how big the school is so what mm -hmm. it so is they... in terms of the consent abby do they mm -hmm. when you sign you sign and you just send back the consent for me or you that's have for to be under present. 16 that's for you don't under have 16. to sign under, so right so 16 under 16 up. Yeah, you right, don't no, have but to so, sign. but let us say for the under sixteen, do you just sign and send back the consent form? Or yeah, and they pressed? would take it from there. No, you you can't be present. You'd be present, okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, well, then, so that's a scary part wow. about it. Wow. Right. So we wanna hope. Let's not be negative. We wanna mm. be positive. We have we have the choice to be positive, <laughs> negative. We have the choice to be fearful or even or to be brave, and you know that you know we have that choice. Are we going to mm -hmm. choose to live in fear, or are we going to choose to really get out there and you know fight this thing? And that I mean, that yeah, is a choice. it's like it's just human nature, you know. You have yeah. to go through something, but it always have the little negative poking behind you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's just human nature. I just look at it like that, but I'm just trying. Not to be, not to put my opinion on her. Let her decide yeah. on her own. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope that she's not looking at that because then you definitely influence the choice. No, no, she... no. I, I don't, I, I don't <laughs> speak about vaccine in the house. <laughs> no, but I mean, let us say she comes on and she's looking at the live and she's oh, yeah. mommy saying, oh, I hope she doesn't. Right? Then mm -hmm. you Wish still have thinking, that yeah. influence. Then you still have that influence on her. Exactly. So why do you mean not talk about it? Or she might be behind it on here. Oh, that's what mommy's saying. She hope. Uh. You know? <laughs> so I mean, yeah. so why do you mean say don't talk about it? She may hear you over here. Over here. Speaking yeah. about yes. With someone else. Yeah. So even yeah. that too, you know, we have to choose the things that, you know, we speak about mm -hmm. in the presence of our children. 
Of course. We have to, you know, choose what it is. We show them the behaviors that we display around them, the attitudes that we have, even how we react to certain situations. So if it is they do something that we dislike, how do we respond? Yeah. Right? We have a choice. Do we respond calm and not aggressive? Because sometimes we can be, you know, aggressive. We can be angry. When you're angry, you respond in a way that when you're done, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I should not have said it this way. I should not have done that. When my I son really gets upset, have... he does say, mm -hmm. um, is Jay Sean and Jerry who get in my mad and angry? I said, but you have a choice in how it is you respond to what they do. You know, I keep telling him that, you know. Yeah. But he, he yeah. consistently is with they making him, you know, get angry. And and I, I say <laughs> it is okay to be angry. It's just how you choose. Oh, yeah. How you choose to, to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Deal with the anger. And that makes mm -hmm. a big difference. Do you choose yeah. to walk it off or do you choose to cut the person down? Oh, hit out. In the yeah, eye. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So Have you asked for the big boy? Hit them in yes, the eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, those are the choices. And I, what we, you know, we have to remember is all the time is that choices have consequences. Mm -hmm. And another thing we have to remember with rights comes responsibility. So, yeah. We really need to be very careful, you know, in what we do. So we're going to go to a short break. And when we come back, we're going to wrap up the discussion on choices. Yes. So this is the effects of COVID-19 on the family. We have Rena and Abby inside. And the topic is choices. And, uh, you know, we had so many choices to make during this pandemic, right? And right now we have that choice of being vaccinated or not being vaccinated. And what we want everyone to remember is that choices have consequences. So, Verena, what would be your, like, words of encouragement or your closing remarks for our viewers this evening, tonight? So, I would say, you know, we always have choices, right? Even if it seems as though there's no way out or there's no other choice, there's always a choice lying around. It's for us to either figure it out or accept the other choice that we have, right? So some persons have difficulty accepting that, okay, this is another option, you know? So, yeah. so do that do that little bit of research or check out, um, you know, what are your options besides these two that you may be focusing on, you know, and, yeah. and make, make, make choices that impact your life positively. And always remember that, Every choice you make has a consequence. So you need to weigh those consequences before you make the choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those, yeah. that's what I leave you all with this afternoon. Yes, Abby. Uh, I would say before making choices, don't make it out of fear or, you know, a manipulation. I would just say take your time. Is not a rush? Mm -hmm. Take your time. You will have to make a choice eventually. But gather as much information, positive, negative, you weigh the decision on your own. And just take your time. That's all. Just take your time and choose wisely. Because, you know, I could either pay the electric or the gas. I need the gas to eat. But I can cook any day. I don't need to see night. So either or, you know. It's either yeah. I want to see at night and eat no food all day. So I have to choose whether to pay gas or electric, you know? Right. So you have to choose wisely, you know, where yeah. your options, yeah, before you make any decision. Yes, definitely. So, yes, um, we have to choose wisely because once you make that choice, it the outcome could be positive or negative. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we, want, we don't want to only take, especially when we have children or we have, elderly relatives that we live with we have to not only consider 
how it's going to affect us, but how it's going to affect everyone in our family unit, right? So when we are doing that, let us take into consideration all those things. Really weigh and measure which is the best option. Even if it's mm -hmm. just two that you have to choose from, what is the best option? Now, Abby Wiley may say, you know, take your time and make those choices. I think yeah, that there are times when... Have that time in it yes they may not have that time we come like okay should i do um emergency surgery or do we need to like hold on and take our time with this let's think because sometimes right. you have to make choices in a very short space i don't have enough time to sit down and think and do research and really weigh and measure right, right? sometimes you're really gonna have to put your foot out there or we'll stick your neck out yeah. there right? I understand but, that, yeah yeah, so sometimes, you know, it's life and some cases it's a life and that and they need to make, a decision, you know, that choice right there on the spot, right? Mm. So we want to encourage everyone, you know, really think about how, it, you know, whatever choices you are making, how it's going to affect you and your family unit and really, really, really make the best choice for you and the family. Right, it really made the best choice. You don't want to do, and then you regret it after. Make the best choice. And mm. tomorrow, I will just say, choose to join in on Sweaty Sunday morning workout because it's going to be nice. We're going to be soaking wet, going to have fun. It's all about smiling, sweating, shining. You know, because we want to, you know, keep healthy. That's the choice. Wonder we could choose to be healthy or choose not to be. We could choose to exercise or choose not to right but we encourage you to you know have that healthy fit lifestyle because they want to live long healthy lives you don't want to be sick and old you want to be strong and just yeah chronological chronologically you know older young in spirit so yes. thank you everyone for <laughs> joining us this evening and thank you the lion for you know all the effects yes thank you thank you verena and abby for joining me this evening tonight mm -hmm. for abby because it's already <laughs> night in the uk so thank yes. you everyone and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 8. oh i'm so silly